In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest version of GDevelop 5, which is GDevelop 5.0.124, and what's this change? What is new? So, first of all, you can see that the home page has totally changed. It looks nothing like the previous version. So, we are going to get through that. Currently, what you're looking at is an offline version of GDevelop, which doesn't look all too good because you have you see a lot of error 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 right here because there's no internet connection but it looks like this with internet connection and it looks good so let's take a look at how to create a new project when you want to create your new project which is a blank project all you want to do is click on create a blank project once you do that you're going to get into project settings you can type in here new project which is the name of your project whatever name you want to use you can just type that in here and then you can set your directory or the location for your folder by clicking on choose folder now once you do that you just want to go for create project and you're going to get into your project manager so right here you want to double click on the plus symbol or just click on it once and then double click on a new scene now you're going to get into your game screen now let's get back to home screen right here in home screen you can also open an existing project just by clicking on this arrow this is going to get you projects that you've been working on and you can just choose from the list or you want to click on open a project and then locate where an existing project used to be so right here is an existing project which is gdevelop endless runner i have a tutorial on that moving on you can also tell that the icons which used to be to the left hand side of your screen is no longer there it's now right in the middle so right here in the middle you have your debug you have your preview and you have publish so if you want to publish your game you can just click on publish and you have two split screens so first of all you have share with friends and then you have publish your game so if you want to share a link with your friends you can log in or create a new account and do that or you can go for publish on stores if you're ready to publish now you can publish on the web just by going for choose folder once you have the location of your folder you just want to click on export as html file and you can export your game from there or you want to get to mobile you just want to click on this it's going to send you to the next screen and you can either export as an apk or android app bundle now android app bundle is good when you want to publish for the play store these days the play store do not allow apk so apk is just for mobile now you can say you can choose a sign in option right from here it's a new upload key or you can use an old upload key now you want to try that out yourself now you want to get into desktop right here in desktop you can export as auto installer file or mac os zip or windows zip or linux app image you can just check all of them and then export if you want to now we want to get into instant games which is for facebook right here is very simple you just want to click on package and then you have a new package for facebook so pretty much hasn't changed if you get into new scene you can you can tell what it used to look like is exactly how it looks like now if you click on add a new event you can still go for your ad condition you can still go for your ad action so a lot hasn't changed apart from the ui and the layout itself so thank you very much for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to smash the like button